The purpose of today's video is to go over the process for making up a class. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and my password and log in. And once I log in, I'm going to the coach board. I'm going to check my settings. I'm going to go to the date that I originally had my class. I'm going to sign into my class. And I'm in second period. And then I'm going to go ahead and click sign in. This is my own personal computer. It's not going to show me everybody that was in the class that day. It's just going to show me mine. So on this particular day, it was a, a lifting day, a structured strength day. So in order to make that class up, I don't actually do the, the workout from that day uh, because I don't want uh, students to have to lift twice in one day. I think that's counterproductive. I need that full recovery. So rather than do that lift, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to row a 5K. It's not an equal makeup. However, um, we're still getting work done um, rather than missing that day completely and not doing anything. So for that workout, uh, we're going to go to Metcon and we're going to make it up with a 5K row. So I start typing 5K and then I can either complete the typing or just click on the 5k row. Once that shows up, I go ahead and add it and then it shows up. I can go ahead and finish my work. I go downstairs, I get my rowing done. And after I've completed my rowing, then I'm going to put in my time. And it was an RX because I didn't modify anything. I did it exactly how it was prescribed in the workout. I rode the 5K. I didn't run it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my 16 digit confirmation code that I obtained from the rowing machine. This number is unique. So no one else can use the same number. And then I go ahead and I click save. Once I've done that, I'm going to go down to my snipping tool and it's going to be new. And I'm going to highlight that and edit and go copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send that snip in an email. In that, I am going to put my last name, which is Jayhawk, and the period that I'm in, and the date that I'm making up for. So let's just say that was for August 24th, 2015. So I'm going to type in my instructor's email address and then I'm going to go ahead and down below, I'm going to put, this is a makeup. And then I just go ahead and I click send. And this is what this item is going to look like. So I've got my email over here. I've got who I'm sending it to. In the subject line, I tell my instructor my last name, what period I'm in, and the date that I'm making up. It doesn't make any difference what the actual date of the makeup is. It only matters what date that I'm making this class up for. And I go ahead and I press send and it's gone. So that's the makeup process for a structured strength day. Now, if it's an actual CrossFit workout, I'm going to go ahead and add that actual workout. 
So on this particular day, I missed the filthy 50 workout. And I go ahead and I put that workout in. And any of these workouts need to be observed by the instructor. So if you're making that up, you need to schedule a time with the instructor. Uh, so make sure that I'm here and see you actually doing the workout. Add the workout and then complete the workout within our facilities. You can do this during an EL before or after school or during one of my free periods, which should be third or fourth period. Just need to make sure that you schedule that ahead of time. I'll click on it. I'll put it in. So it took me 35 minutes and 23 seconds. I did not do it as prescribed. I could not do um, part of the workout, which was, oh, I couldn't do the jumping pull up, so I did body rows. So down below I put in body rows, and then I go ahead and I click save. And it's as easy as that. And then that process with uh, sending the email is exactly the same, except I'm just putting in this and not the 5K rail. So pretty simple. And that should do it for today.